Hey, this is Matt Roberts with Shamrock Aquaponic Farm, and today I'm going to show you the easiest do-it-yourself black soldier fly box ever. What you need to have on hand to make this is an 18 or 20 gallon storage box, the black one with the yellow lid, um, from Walmart. A, I think it's about a one quart or two quart plastic Tupperware box. Uh, food storage box that was also from Walmart and a um, bus pan standard size bus pan I had one laying around the shop you can buy them at uh, restaurant supply stores used for about a dollar a piece or you can go to Walmart and get one of their clear storage boxes that will fit inside of the uh, black box so next I had to cut the um, the, the little lip off of the bus pan um, on the two long sides and then cut a small it's about a six inch by one inch slot at one end you just want to make sure that slots a little smaller than the food storage box that you bought um, what you want is you want that the, to fit down inside the black box um, pretty easily it doesn't have to be a tight fit I also drilled about a dozen holes or so in the bottom of the white bus pan. Um, that's going to be holding all of the kitchen refuse and you want it to be able to drain so it doesn't stay too wet. The, the bugs grow better if it's a moist environment but not soupy wet. Okay so that's just about uh, the construction process. The next thing you do is you're going to take the white food storage box and put it in the bottom of the black box. Next in the process, you're going to take your white um, clear bin and put it on top of the food storage box. That's going to make it sit at an angle. The, um, the bottom of that box is going to form a ramp and the bugs will crawl up that ramp, fall through the hole and into the um, food storage box for collection. Just a note, I didn't drill any holes in the black box. Um, I leave that intact because it will catch any fluids and not make a mess on your patio that way. Also, any bugs that might crawl out and not go into the collection box will get trapped in the bottom of the black box. When I set my box up, I put about a half an inch of garden soil in the bottom of the white bin before I loaded up all the kitchen scraps. Um, this just kind of evens out the amount of moisture from all those scraps and also gives the bugs a place to uh, burrow down into. So in order to keep my my box um, rainproof I leave the, the lid intact and simply put a piece of trim wood under one end of the box. It opens up the lid about an inch which gives the adult flies plenty of space to fly in and out of. I also don't add any of the cardboard strips for the flies to lay eggs on. I've never seen any eggs. I've, they always just seem to go and lay right on the garbage. So just a little simpler. Altogether this project cost around $12-$15 uh, and took maybe 20 minutes. It's, it's been one of the easier projects I've tackled and it certainly works well. Um, we're getting anywhere from a cup to a quart of uh, bugs out daily so they the chickens really enjoy them this is Matt for Shamrock Aquaponic Farm and I, if you like this video take a look at our website there are some other things there you might like too thanks a lot bye